Good morning, folks. Happy whatever Wednesday. Uh, it's been a minute since we've done it, I think. It feels like it, but we're going to be playing some more Hydroneer today. Could have sworn we did it last... No, last week I wasn't able to play it because uh, we had... Um, well, I had to take my roommate to the airport for uh, holiday things. But now I have the, the opportunity to do so, so. We're going to be playing Hydroneer today. But before we begin that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail and secure that kind of thing for LGBTQ, LGBTQ key, Q folks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because we are disproportionately affected by uh, discriminatory systems for like jailing and bail and stuff like that. Because society is fucking sucks. Um, so if you're will, if you're able to want to donate to that, I have a donate button below the stream. I have a donate command. My chatbot shares the donate donate command every so often. Dran zero nim zero us eleven has joined the Bean Army. Thank you for the follow. Hello, three Gs. Another way you can donate to uh, the fundraising is I have a QR code on screen whenever I get going, if that's easier. Good morning, Greg. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. For better or for worse, the cats were made my sleep last night a little uh, in inconsistent, so we'll, we'll just say that. Um... Uh, it'll be one thing I will look forward to when my roommate gets back is that her cat will be in her room. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love him. He's he's a nice he's a nice boy, but um, he's um. Likes to get up and off the bed constantly and likes to kind of be in your space. <laughs> Which is fine. You know. Ugh. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Ugh. Needed that. But thank you for the hydrate. I drank some more coffee. <laughs> Although I probably will go grab a water bottle from my nightstand as well. Because it's probably smart to drink water too. Alright. So now I had the idea of like... No, let me see. Well I had the stream world there which is you know our built up save of just playing over the course of time. But I want to do a new game file where we do not only where we do farming as long along with the digging stuff. So <laughs> so we're gonna do like farming sim or something like that, because you can sell you can sell. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus, because you can sell the f stuff you grow. Like you can sell the stuff you grow to make money too, so I figured it might be interesting to see how that plays out along with a new game, along with like the normal stuff like digging and all that. <clears throat> Plus, if y'all haven't seen how Hydroneer starts out, this would be a great opportunity to see that. Alright, well, let's find somewhere nice to dig, I guess. Huh? Uh, uh, me too. That's me, like, every day when I get up out of bed, I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. Let's hear this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, 
Let's dig one, dig two, dig three, dig four. <clears throat> throw that in the river. Get some water into it. Unfortunately, that's the, kind of the best way to do it early on. Okay, and we got a very sad piece of iron. Oh, actually, we got more than that. We got a, a sad piece of gold, too. <laughs> Can separate those out. Why is OBS calm down? It's fine. It's it's Hydroneer. Can literally play Tales of Arise <laughs> at full speed, but then Hydroneer gives you fucking trouble. Weird ass program. <clears throat> okay, into the river you go. And we'll get some more. I don't know how much the farming stuff costs to kind of get going. I can't really remember that stuff from last stream when I, uh... I, I just can't remember the cost of that kind of stuff because it's too new and I've not really played with it much more than like one stream. I kind of swore I played with it another stream as well, but I can't find the video for it. Or the Twitch VODs, so I, I just don't remember. It, must, it, it either doesn't exist, or I can't remember, or both. <laughs> Maybe it was a figment, a figment of my imagination. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the, the early game for Hydroneer. If you're doing only, uh, if you're doing your, your panning stuff. We're gonna take all this stuff and then we're gonna take it up to the jeweler. Those brothers. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's people now. They kind of just say random garbage. <laughs> hey, what? Uh, 50, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to do anything with. But hey, it's worth a shot. Don't whistle at me in that tone of voice. Hey there. <clears throat> kind of gonna kind of like explore the area a little, see if there's any. Oh, they've updated this. It used to be a little less Did you hear that? interesting in here. What are you doing in here? Yeah, it used to be a lot less uh, interesting in here. Like a lot, just a lot less. Like no vines. Not this dude. Not this stuff. It just was just like this. I'm curious to see if they added more shops or things over here. Because for a while now, the the other uh, gameplay loop you could do, along with the mining stuff, is to do fishing. Hey, old blood. <sighs> Those pan clang brothers are a bit podgy. <clears throat> Which we can't, cat. We can't. We don't have. Ju don't. Ju we don't have enough to buy a fishing pole anyway. Even if I wanted to. <clears throat> Which makes me think I'm probably going to need to get up to like 200 or so uh, coins before we can really do anything with the farming. Because I know we're going to have to buy a trowel, and then we're going to have to buy a, um, yeah, we're going to just have to dig some. Toodaloo, toodaloo. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, that early game uh, content loop here. Fill dirt up. Now you can uh, take your bucket to the river and fill it up that way. 
But then you have to actually put effort into pouring it in here too, and it's... I mean, it's functionally the same. But I guess that's a change of pace to do it this way instead of the way I usually do it. Either way, this is a pretty chill game anyway, so it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of vibing a little bit. Oh yeah, it's something I forgot. We don't have the uh, time freeze thingy in this file, so that might be something for us to get to just kind of make life not annoying. how much I have in there, but we're gonna just keep going until, like, I can't really see anymore. Because it'll be, like, nighttime. Because, <clears throat> unfortunately, you need some starting capital, and unless you're playing a file you already have stuff started on, this is kind of the way to do it. Another nice thing to get would be like one some water pipes to um, make this process and the actual uh, farming process better too. Because you can certainly uh, just manually water your water your crops that you can plant in this game by hand with a bucket or whatever, but you can also let water pipes drip onto them too. Which can not only get you water for this, but can also get you water for, uh, you know, a crop of some kind. So I'm just curious to see how the gameplay loop works with having access to farming as well. Um, how dark is it? We, still, we can still see. <laughs> we can still see outside. It's fine. Man, I don't know if I what if like what Hydrogener did with their update, but like OBS does not like this game right now. It's having encoding thingies. Alright, it's starting to get a little darker, so let's uh let's run it off and sell this stuff. Up top. Water. I'm gonna take some water, drink some water. Hey there. Fuck you. Okay, yeah, we got a, we got a good deal, a bit more money now from digging there. <clears throat> I sure I'm hungry. Why is everyone so hungry in this world? <laughs> One thing we are gonna have to buy is probably this little camp bed. Which thankfully is a little cheaper than I thought. And 
Unfortunately, I got cut into my profits a little bit to buy that. Because it's, be, it's about to be nighty night time, and we're going to not be able to see shit. Find our coins together, it gets us 301. <clears throat> I can sleep when I get back, because I want to go to the... Um, can't do anything with you we do have this truck though that we they start us with which is per it, it's a perfectly serviceable truck it's just a matter of if I can drive it perfectly serviceably which the answer is probably no <clears throat> oh they're sitting on the rock okay I like taking this little shortcut to get down here to bridge poor Again, yep, my, my driving skills are not very good. So if I don't run into someone, because... I mean, I don't think you can kill anyone in this game. It, it's not that kind of game. But they do go flying, and it's pretty funny. And I don't want to, like... I really don't want to hit anyone, but, I mean... So I think it'd be pretty funny anyway. But let's see what kind of prices we're working with here for uh, this stuff. Oh, those seeds are expensive. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna be able to do this stuff for a bit. I mean, we can test it out, but I've got a feeling that you're gonna want to have a seed mill before you plant fucking anything. Granted, the seed mill is a lot cheaper than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be like 600 or so. I also wasn't really looking at the prices, but we definitely want to get the seed mill. And, and that trowel. We have just enough for that, but then we, we, can't, we can't afford the seeds. That's okay. We'll do that. Take our money back. Put this stuff back with us. And then once we get like... What is it, 130 or 180? You won't find better prices than these. Tomatoes, tomatoes are 130, so we can get 130 and then come back. Fortunately, the seed mill needs water to work in general, so we're not going to be doing anything with that until we actually get water going, which would be the kind of next kind of idea anyway. That being said. Once we're going to forward one tomato seed, that's the all that's all we're going to ever fucking need because we can just use the seed mill to get more. And then the more tomatoes you have, the more chance you have of getting more seeds and it it can it can it spirals out of control. Hopefully it does at least. I'm hoping that like by doing that we can get some extra money without necessarily having to set up the big industry things. Although eventually it's probably what you're gonna gonna want to do anyway, but I'm just kind of interested to see how the um, the gameplay loop works with having the farming stuff. Cause I've played a lot of this. I played a good amount of this game. <laughs> Jordan feels a little weird. I mean, it always does. All right, well, this stuff's not going to be useful for a minute because we don't have seeds, we don't have plants, and we don't even have water pipes yet, so we can get those things, but our, enti our four entire hydro coins. Those over here. Uh, we did buy a bed, right? Did I just like leave it somewhere? I totally did. I just left it. I just left it at the shop. <laughs> I'll just sleep along my brother, among my brothers and sisters. <laughs> the other plants. <clears throat> Yeah, 
And it's still pretty damn dark, but we can at least do some digging, I guess. Kinda ha kinda have to. There's not much else I can do until I get more money. Probably the first thing I should have gotten was a water kind of drip system because it would make this process less painful to do, but eh, it's fine. There's there's a bit of charm there's there's a there's charm to kind of doing everything the manual way. Not forever. Like the, ch the charm kind of wears off after a while, but it's kind of just like relaxing to kind of just scoop dirt. And pour dirt and, you know, all that business. Once you, once you get like the machines going too, like there's just even less manual stuff you have to do. But I want to at least first try and see if adding, uh, doing the farming stuff can give you kind of like an alternative route to that kind of stuff. Mostly just because, mostly because I can. Like I don't really need to do this if I wanted to really do a new file and get it up and roar, roaring. I would just beeline towards getting a water drip system and then getting the uh, machines over there that make to automate this process and then you just kind of sit back and let them work. Get out of the way, shovel. Which, fu which funny enough, in this I'm still going to try to get that uh, drip, s the drip, uh, dripping uh, water system going anyway because it's useful for uh, both, both farming and um, this pro this uh, dirt processing stuff. It's kind of cool that it kind of coincides because plants need water and rinsing and panning and doing all this stuff needs water too. Yeah, I'll, I'll look forward to when I don't have to just throw the bucket in the river. Let's go sell this and uh, we'll take our other money with us too. Just so we have it on hand. Then we can combine it all together and Not sure I'm, hungry. I'm sure you are. I didn't actually know exactly how that was. I know that's how um, gyms work. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't know everything ran off that. I thought it might have just been like gyms or something. Then again, how do, how do I not know that? I've played too much of this game. <laughs> Keep your thoughts of Scran away from me. <laughs> okay, Scran. Uh, what was I doing over here? I've got 104. Oh, I was gonna look at how much these pipes cost. Take a look at my goods. 36. It's a lot less than I was expecting, but we need to get some more money before we can make a useful pipe system. Just, just having just that intake pipe is not gonna cut it. Like how the money is like kind of like sideways stuck inside of the pan. 
Good first uh, dunkaroo there. Can you please land? There you go. Doesn't matter because I'm gonna pick you up soon anyway. Be worth quite as much. I'm gonna start digging the hole out a little bit more. What you can do is you can buy a pickaxe for a certain amount of uh, monies, monies, hydro coins, and you can use it to kind of dig the hole out a little bit more to get down to the better, like to get further down. But I figure it might be worth it just kind of digging down, not that way. Okay, we can fit down there. Huh? Now what we could do is we could get we could buy more more buckets and then we could fill those up with dirt and then kind of get water sequentially and do that. I think if we had a watering can, which that would make this a lot simpler because the watering can can hold four charges of water and pour that water and I think it could technically do this so that would make this whole process interesting so I'm gonna kind of aim for that see if that mechanic works like that but to get the watering can we need to do uh, jobs ooh there's some cloudium alright so now oh like if we're down, not down here like this, we can get to the, the deeper dirt that we couldn't get by standing on the surface there. So, so these bucket fools are gonna start being a bit more worthwhile. Huh? Okay. All right, let's uh, take this riffraff and go see. And I'll grab our money too, because if we have enough, we'll just swing by and actually grab this cart, because that'll let us carry everything we want to do. We can put our little uh, pan in here. We can put our money in here, and it, and then after we end up after we buy things. We'll then be able to um, carry it back with us all at once instead of one by one. Now, unfortunately, this cart is very slow, but you get it for free when you start, so that's. Oh, the grocer's. There's a grocer. I love me some scran. <laughs> I have to look that up because I'm, I'm sure it's probably some like some fucking British fucking slang or some shit. <laughs> fucking fucking scran. Oh yeah, baby, give me the scran. Uh huh. I'm sure they are. All right. Well, we got 298. That might be enough to get the water kind of water drip kind of stuff going that I was thinking of. I figure one, like once we get the uh, water pipe system in to passively drip water for us for farming and for this, we can just kind of start 
having money f just flow in a little bit more easily. So we're gonna need. <laughs> Get in the damn thing. Whatever. Get in here. There you go, it's in there. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna need like at least three of these. And then like two of these. Me thinks. Probably a T as well. Alright. I'll grab this. We should have enough. Yeah, we have enough money. We don't have quite enough to also go buy the uh, seeds as well. But we can just like get a little bit more money and go do that. Um, actually, let's put one of these uh, straight pipes. Like, we'll go, we'll delete it by trying to pretend to steal it. Yeah, we don't need that. You won't find bad prices than these. And that will let us actually go buy the tomato seed as well. And hopefully that's all we need to kind of get off the gr get to get off the ground with this. If it's not, then we'll figure out something else. <laughs> I'm just curious to see how the gameplay loop runs with farming, in addition to just kind of digging like this. <clears throat> it's also fun to just play with the new stuff. All right, so you need to move out of the way. <clears throat> You need to go in the ground like this. All right. Now, ordinarily, I would do something like this. But I think... We're gonna need to do uh, something like, where's that T-pipe? Hmm. I might not actually have enough pipes. I'm just trying to think of the logistics of getting this going as well as the water drip, but maybe the water drip is more important first and then we can get a few more pipes to kind of get the rest going how we want it. I mean, actually, oh, that'll work. Cause now this is a, uh, yeah, this is running now. So when we get crops, we can put them in there. Uh, we are gonna want to have this, not be like we want. Yeah, we're gonna want it. Uh, have it kind of going a little like this. And then we'll we'll have our uh have some water like this. One forty. If we do this, we could technically use this as kind of like a, a, a base to kind of put our uh, stuff on, I think. And then, and then, <laughs> just kind of, just kind of pour the uh, dirt in there. Let's actually, well, we only really need to buy one thing from the store. And that is the uh, tomato seeds. Tomato seed, rather, because we can only afford one. But we'll take the truck. It's just faster. I 
the normal normal flow of the game without um we with without farming or doing anything different is to um did, did do enough of the manual stuff until you can get the uh t the, the two automated machines you can buy initially and then set those up and let them run just on just and while you go do other things like digging more yourself and stuff like that so they can kind of like generate passive income as well as like your own uh, manual income there <clears throat> what I'm hoping to see is that getting this tomato farm going well each each uh, tomato you plant gets you a uh, two you know tomatoes and you can turn each of those into seeds, and sometimes you get more than one seed per. So I'm hoping after the first uh, few harvests, we'll be able to, like, start just selling extras. Yeah, I need this. Cook in a pot. Cook in a pot. The sickle is going to be a nice quality of life eventually, but for now we're going to just have to not have that. <laughs> I mean, we could probably come back and buy it pretty soon, but I just kind of want to get this going. Because once we have one tomato, we can let that grow. And while that's growing, continue doing panning stuff to get money else otherwise. And actually, since we have like five, ten coins left, I want to buy some blocks to make a level, nice level playing field, literally, so that we can uh, use the level area to our advantage. It's a lot easier to place things precisely when you have fucking sign. It's a lot easier to place things precisely when you have a level playing field. So we'll just turn up take these. We should have these blocks here. Yeah, they're five. So we can buy two of these. Now at some point, I will be buying the crates because I have a mod that adds like these crates that lets you buy multiple things at a time, and that's super useful, especially for buying these blocks because they're kind of a, they're kind of a pain otherwise to kind of haul around. You won't find better prices than these. All right. Sweet. Now the this update did add some new vehicles. One of them is like a little like uh, four x four, which kind of zips around. It's pretty cool, and it still has some carrying capacity. But things don't stack the same way as they do like in the back of the truck bed like this. They kind of stack on top. They kind of like normal like collision things. So it's not as useful for hauling a lot of things back, but. You can still use it for like do like your do chores like going to like sell up like a pan full of things or something like that. All right, let's get these out. <clears throat> yeah, the, the idea the idea of the drip thing is to have something like this and to have water dripping on a flat surface so that you can uh, reliably get um, water for your panning pro your painting uh, projects like case in point well oh, try not to fall down into the abyss immediately <laughs> I hope the I hope the um, the vi the like the stream isn't like choppy or anything. I don't see any drop frames, but OBS keeps like complaining, so I just don't know, you know. Oh, that yeah, that's actually pretty good, pretty like almost a perfect height. And where's our, where's that dastardly brush? There you are. I I knew you. I knew you were dastardly. Now once we have the pipe going out this way, which isn't going to be that expensive, these pipes are pretty cheap, it will automatically drip the water into that, you know. 
something else we're also going to do is get a T-pipe to where it drips water down onto where we're going to plant this uh, crop. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do more of this panning before we can like seriously do the farming stuff. But we will get there. It's hard for me to get distracted when there's only like two things to do, but I, I'll probably find a way. <laughs> Ooh, MLG bucket catch. Like this is some like Minecraft or some shit. <laughs> It should be easy enough to kind of do that stuff there. I mean, it doesn't really matter where we plant the uh, the, the tomato because we can just manually water the first one until we get the more dripping, drippy stuff go going. All right, I do need this seed so I can plant the tomato. It's a handsome little tomato. And that's how we're going to water it, but... While that's happening, we're going to be doing more of uh, this. Dadgummit. Now what we do in the interim is, um... Like, drop the bucket in the air while the water drip is happening, and then it lets us get, the, get water into it. And it won't pour, the water won't pour out. Although I just realized that's not gonna work because we need that we need water for I'll just water this again. I don't know if it like has like a dryness timer that gets refreshed whenever you, you know put water on it, but I just don't want that water to go to waste. Not like it's limited at all, because that thing will just be keep dripping forever as long as you know the game's running, so it's like who cares? But I care. Really now, <laughs> he's just gonna sit on the lip there. As the saying goes, if you ain't gonna piss, get off the pot. I don't, I don't see that pissing anywhere. All right, that's probably enough to get us more money. To, can I get? Let's get the the cart. That's probably enough to get us more money to get the pipes to kind of get everything else going. Because at least initially we're going to be only doing stuff in a very in a straight line, <laughs> so that we can um, have all the stuff that we need going in one place and use as little pipes as possible. Because pipes cost money, and we don't really have money yet. Uh, uh oh! Did the game just crash? Uh, it almost did. It, it, it had to think really hard about me p doing whatever it was I just did. Yeah, whatever. I just had a, almost had a game crash because I don't know. And I, I think it was maybe collided with the well or so. I have no idea. I'm not even going to begin to try to explain why that happened. <laughs> uh. Motherfucker, I haven't even talked to you. That is, some, that is something you can do, though. You can, uh, you make soup out of, like, whatever they request, and as long as it's as, as much as they request, like... 
Like this one wants uh, this this one this guy wants a um, <clears throat> wants a soup with twelve weight with twelve uh, weight tomatoes in it. And he'll trade it for farm guild tokens, which is what you use to buy other seeds and like carrots and potatoes and some other farming stuff. So that's eventually what you want to be doing with at least some of your crop. Oh, we need to yeah we need to buy some. Uh, pipes but in the meantime let's wa let's make sure this is watered so it keeps at least growing <clears throat> now the next tomato plant that we grow is going to be placed somewhere very specific Meaning it's going to be placed like, at, we're going to place pipes and then we'll be placing the plant. So that we can um, have it be watered m constantly for uh, no, with n with little or no, in no <laughs> input on us. Uh, in that case, let's buy a few of these uh, tea pipes. They're slightly more expensive than just normal straight pipes, but... I kind of have this in like an awkward spot, but if we do, if we, if we play our cards right, we can have <clears throat> a good amount of just kind of growing real estate. And then we'll just kind of get a, we'll get that. <clears throat> Just, fl just fling the freaking pan. <clears throat> now in super in super old versions of Hydroneer, you could just steal from the shop, like pretty easily. Like you could, like stand outside the boundary of like where it would normally do things, and you just like like grab these and you just steal them. <laughs> <clears throat> You can do that with basically every shop is just kind of cheese things. Now I don't really like to do that usually, <clears throat> unless I can, unless it's like something that kind of happens without your like input, I guess. All right, where's the bed? Let's sleep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Might need some more straight pipes actually. Like these T pipes are gonna be very useful for uh for letting us separate off water to do stuff like more growing. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> Seems to be. This seems to grow slower than I thought. But then again, I was. I had the day. I had the night, day, and night cycle off in my other world. Because <clears throat> there is a, a creative mode item you can buy, like an hourglass that lets you just kind of, you know, do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, for now, we can use these pipes to kind of. Let us more easily get water in places. <clears throat> well, it's starting to grow up a little bit. Yeah, this one we're gonna have to manually water by buckets inside. Just kind of wanted to, you know get the farm going and I'm glad I did because that's taking up taking a little bit to kind of happen I mean plants don't exactly grow super fast in real life either so I guess it makes sense it's not like 
instant, but yeah, I'm glad I started doing the, the growing process. But yeah, that's the advantage of having uh, water constantly available is that you literally just scoop dirt, pour it in, and brush it off. It takes out some of the labor. Tell me I found a fucking onyx gym just putzing around like this because those are very, those are pretty rare. It might be more worth my time to actually just get multiple scoops of dirt and then pour them out and then just dump them in here. But I don't know. Wait. Does this have water in it? I guess it does. I didn't think, I don't know how or why it had water. Maybe it's just kind of place the I probably placed the bucket right underneath this without realizing it <laughs> whatever The idea I, ha I was just talking about is like you just have like this and then you, uh, you you know dig it out, fill it up here. Huh? And then you just pour it out and you just make dirt clumps and then you grab those dirt clumps and put them in the, the pan sequentially. And then just basically scrub it off. I mean, it's kind of like the process the uh, the automated mining machines do is they make the dirt clumps themselves, and then they uh, put it through their kind of in a sense a washing machine. I don't hate that the idea of doing that process that way, but eh, kind of wish this would grow and yeah. Yeah, I want some more straight pipes so we can kind of just get this to go somewhere. And ideally, what we'd have happen is we would have this, um go like this and then be go straight enough to where we have it dripping to the bottom of, a, of the hole down here where we get our have access to access to all the good dirt and then we can just pan stuff oh a tomato grew nice a whole tomato it's about to be we got one seed back from that and then we have another tomato and that oh that one yeah that one gave us two so now we have three tomato seeds and this tomato is basically just dead now, so. See that? So now, with three tomato seeds, we're gonna. Is there any dirt in here? No. Alright, we're gonna um, go sell this. Go 
go sell this junk. Yeah, the, the drippy, uh, just, just give him some water. <laughs> the drippy, drippy uh, way of doing things saves some time, which lets you spend more time digging than doing other shit. So yeah, I'm gonna need to need to buy some straight pipes now. You won't find bad prices in these. Okay, and then we'll. I put my okay it's 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 actually in there I was like please tell me I didn't just like leave my money Anti-gravity money. <laughs> We got a bunch of a bunch of straight pipes here. We're gonna take this one off, and we're gonna start just plug pl plugging these in. That's currently where our water sits. Can actually unplug you. Do one of these, and then separate off a bit of water. Door will have for strictly. Um, We might, we might dig a different way to have this be where we put our, our water pan for getting stuff and have another way going off that way so we can get to our up to the crops easier because yeah Drop, drop. <laughs> See, so at least doing it this way, we can get those three uh, tomatoes planted and. They will grow completely unsupervised because they have they have literally have water dripping on them. Uh, let's. I'm 
I'm gonna run to the store see how much this pickaxe is gonna cost because at this point it'd be more but more to our benefit of getting down deeper 122 okay we can get that So now we don't have to do anything with the bucket other than use it for dirt, which is nice. <clears throat> Come back. No. <laughs> this dude, this is goes for a, a tumble down the freaking mine shaft. If we want to be really cheeky, we could just separate this off too to kind of make another uh, water for more for another uh, tomato plant, but. For now, I can actually do that too. So, don't have that dug out yet. Let's sleep because it's getting dark. Actually, we're gonna save and return to menu. And we're gonna turn on creative mode for this and get that hourglass because we've had enough uh, day and night cycle, I'd say. <laughs> it's great and all, but I will happily skip it. Because it doesn't really do anything other than like, you know, to go look. This this game's realistic. It's like, sure, but <laughs> farming sim. I will turn creative mode on. Load the save, and then the only thing we're gonna do is get this uh, hourglass. And it costs like one dollar. We're not gonna even pay that. I don't even care. Whatever. It's mine. <laughs> We're gonna put that over just somewhere. Alright. And then we will go back to the save and quit the menu. That's the only thing I wanted to do. Alright, we've paused the time, and that'll be just kind of this time of day forever. Stuff will still grow and happen, but like the time, the flow of time itself is just now paused. Kind of want my pipes to not be in the way of, like the shadows, rather. I want to be able to see my little plants. Yeah, one more back, and that should probably be good. It's really convenient to be able to just kind of adjust the shadows. Ah, here we go. Now it can multitask. These are these are growing nice and well. That one's actually not growing anymore because of this. But let's get another uh, another uh, bucket's worth of stuff, and then I'll 
remove that so that that plant can have its water that it's supposed to, it's supposed to have. But I kind of just did steal its water. All right, drink. <laughs> it gets to drink again. Back on the bottle, I see. <laughs> We have a hundred. I mean, we probably had enough to buy the, the pipes anyway, but. Actually, I think we do have enough to buy that pickaxe, but whatever. I wanted to get some more money. Much, but didn't need much more. Technically, with the uh, the crops growing, we technically have passive income coming in because now, if we really wanted to, we could. <laughs> yeah, this is all stuff I. It's a lot of stuff. There's some stuff they're saying is stuff I had to learn through watching YouTube tutorials. So it's kind of nice that the character actually say like pertinent things instead of look at all those clouds it's like no shit that's how clouds work <laughs> you won't find bad prices than these all right well okay um yeah, we're gonna we're coming here just to buy this pickaxe. That's all we need here for now. Nope. Yeah, we have to, we have to put money in the box there. Get back in the car. Take a good take a look at my goods. I love some scran. <laughs> as as you can see, the plants are still growing perfectly fine despite time being, you know, frozen. Time is a suggestion. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Eventually we can get sprinklers, which can let us not have to do this, but for now we're gonna just, um... Start digging out a little zone to kinda exist in. Okay, that's the, the bottom, so that's kinda where we wanna be. <clears throat> Yeah, we probably are going to want at least one more pipe to kind of get down to this flat part. I mean, look at all this delicious dirt we're wasting by mining like this. Oh hey, we found the so we found the sword. All right, that's one of the artifacts you can find. Just kind of randomly found it, and now it's in the fucking way. I just want I just want through just let me pass through the swords like no 
I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> yeah. That cave over there that I was looking in earlier is where you put these relics. I might as well just put the sword in there. It's not really going to do us any good otherwise. Unless they change it, the only thing you really get from this is like a treasure, a cool, you get a pretty cool treasure chest, but that you can sell for money or just kind of have. Yeah, each of the, each of the digs has a, um, a relic hidden there. Kind of a fun, like, kind of scavenger hunt if that's what you want to do, but. As you see, I kind of randomly stumbled upon it when I was doing other stuff, so it's also a way you can do it, too. I was gonna say I've never, well, I've never made a little ramp out of here, and the the, the reason is because it sucks to do that. It's it's not fun. <laughs> All right, well, frankly, that's well. There's we need another pipe. It looks like. Oh, fuck, fuck me. I fell in, I fell in the hole. Hoisted by my own petard. Uh, let's just buy it. I don't need the whole cart. For once, I was just trying to grab the money. Probably just leave the money there, honestly. Yeah, we'll leave that money there. The goods if you got the cash. Then we'll just buy this pipe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting off doing the manual stuff as long as possible because when I mean, we gotta have something to do while the tomatoes grow anyway. Cool thing is though is like with the seed mill here we have expen possible possibly exponential growth of the amount of tomato plants we have. I think that I think that sickle was like 26. How much do we have left here? 48. Uh Oh. Looks like Yeah, I'm going to just like run to that place. Yeah, whatever. I'll Let's get 3 seeds. Uh, let's get 3 seeds back. And then we'll sell the rest of the tomatoes. Um. Oh, this one grew three. Well, look at you. Aren't you fancy? I guess sometimes they grow more than, uh... Okay, that gets us five. Okay. I'd say that's pretty good growth. And then we can just kind of sell the rest of these tomatoes. I've never actually sold tomatoes, so I don't know how much they're worth. And then when we, then when we get... Actually, before we go, we're gonna... Uh, 
one, two, three. Uh, fuck. Let's so let's go find out how much one tomato sells for, because I need to buy another. I need to get another pipe or two. Don't mind me. I'm just. A lot of this is me just kind of learning the values of stuff on the fly, because. I've yet to, like, on my other file that I have, I was making tomatoes simply to make soup to get the other tokens, so I wasn't sure how much. Oh, yeah, that's not worth much. It's probably more worth your time to, um. I don't know if there's any, like, hidden mechanics behind growing bigger tomatoes as opposed to, like, just mashing a bunch of them up together in a soup. I mean, I'm going to assume that making them into a soup counts as processing them, which makes them worth more, but... We also don't have a, a bowl yet. That's something else we can get. Uh, where is our money even at? Is it still in here? I might have just not grabbed my money. It's not in there, so I must have grabbed it. <laughs> I'm a I'm a buffoon. Where the where the hell's my money? <laughs> where did I leave it? Is it in the truck? It it is in the truck. Okay, I don't remember putting it in the truck. Well, like probably literally just did yeah um. No, and it's not that big of a loss if we go to buy the stuff we need from the uh, other place and then come back. It's not gonna, that's not the end of the world. Like, it's like, oh, well, I'm not gonna have maximum grow time, but like, who cares? This isn't a competitive competitive farming tomato growing game. I'm sure something like that exists, but this is definitely not that. I'm sure someone somewhere has done something like that with this game. Like, like let's, let's have a race to see who can get the most money by panning the fastest or some shit. But that's not how we're playing the game. We're just playing the game to have some good, have a good time. Yeah, over here is where you buy the stuff with the, uh, specifically with the, uh, with the tokens. Thing is, once you, once you buy one of these and plant it and all that, like, you can, uh, Yeah, one of the big things you want to try to save it for is this 20... That seems a little more expensive than I remember. Yeah, 20... Yeah, I think they definitely made this more expensive. Because Sprinkler Hook lets you, um... Auto water stuff. You but, find better prices but more of them. I yeah, see these take tea. Which we, you know, don't have because we've not done anything with that, but... Okay, we want to get the sickle. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any soups yet. Because that stuff caught, like, you have to have a, a cooking pot and the cleaver and the stove to make the soups. 
And it's probably smart to have a scale too so you can see just how much your soup stuff weighs. But for now, we came here for the sickle. It's funny how the soup bowl costs more than the sickle does. It's just kind of weird to me. It, t it seems that our our uh, tomatoes are probably not going to be worth uh, selling yet until we can uh, make soups out of them. I don't know how much that increases their value, but I'm sure it does in some way. I was hoping tomatoes sold for more than that, but I guess they don't. But that's part of the experimenting thing, is just finding out how things work. And seeing if you can get them to work in a way that works for you. <laughs> the totally intended way to get up that hillside. Yeah, I, I feel like they changed the way driving works, because the driving controls feel different than before. Like I'm noticing a lot more now that I'm like, you know, actually driving around a bit. We'll just leave the money here, whatever, it doesn't matter. See, unfortunately these plants only grow one set of uh, f of produce. But with the sickle, we can keep the same plots there and replant things instead of having to like redig the thing every single time. Let's uh, hop down here, see if we can uh, get this. That's gonna be how we do it, because we need a flat surface to place the uh, pan on to, um... I have a feeling like I need another pan, because I want to keep um, doing stuff with the tomatoes there. Thankfully those pans are extremely cheap, like, I think it's like 12 or so. Yep, yep, 12. But I was thinking it's either 4 or 12 because the buckets are very cheap. Yeah, I just want one of these pans to hold uh, Yeah, these pans can hold a, just a lot of things. Okay. It's gonna start out pretty. Um, I guess we'll just replant some of these seeds here. Uh, no, nah, we'll get, we'll get five, we'll get two more of these so that we can have five going at once. I just gotta get stuff down there. Just drop the bucket down the mine shaft, yeah. It's like... No, we could we could utilize. Oh, Jesus, I'm stuck in. I'm st I'm stuck in a trap of my own creation. Yeah, we could we could create some uh, dirt clods initially until we can get some more space to actually breathe. So I kind of made this a little claustrophobic. On accident. <laughs> uh, 
You're just kind of like in the block. All right, cool, whatever. <clears throat> also gonna need my brush down here so we can just rapid fire clean all this stuff. specifically like <laughs> this is very scuffed huh? 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 there's so little space down here <laughs> Pieces. I could have swore I had more than. Oh yeah, there's there's another one down there. Um, yeah, I should probably clear out some more space with the pickaxe before I actually do digging, because like I can barely move. I can barely move down there. Which I know that's pretty much how mines were are slash were in real life as well. Like just you can barely move. There's only just enough space to kind of do the digging because that's kind of why you're there. But like, I don't think I even gave myself that much space down here. <laughs> I think that's a little better at least. Oh, game, it's okay. You can you're you're allowed to save. Uh sometimes when it does its auto saves, it's like ha like Having, it's like having a stroke, it feels like. Like it does not react well. Diggy, diggy, diggy hole. actual part of the, the dirt I don't think we can dig anymore right there yeah it, it's in my best interest to actually get some ladders before long but it's like this is um this is a little scuffed to say it wastes a lot of space too, so like ladders would be much better, but this is the least interesting. Huh? For 
now I'll put that there. Put you there. Um, Unfortunately, that's about the best place I can really put this block and have it serve its serve the purpose it's meant to do. So I'm probably gonna need to drag the other block down here so that we can um, have somewhere to stand while we dig. All this stuff is in the way. I mean, the other advantage of doing the, um, the automated stuff is you don't have to be in this dark, dingy hole. <laughs> It is kind of funny, you can like pour dirt into an upside down bucket and it will count as that bucket having dirt in it for the purposes of doing this. Yeah, we're gonna go sell this stuff. <laughs> Cause I wanna get the stuff for these going and possibly even get some get the soup production going. So I don't know if selling your soup gets you your um, bowl back. So so it better be some damn good soup I'm selling. <laughs> it seems this playstyle's do like doing more of the farming stuff. Yeah, it, it seems like the, uh... Sure I'm hungry. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh, sure, I'm hungry. Well, then go eat some food. Go, go, go eat a food. This is a fantasy world. You can just eat food. Like, there, look at all this food. There's food over there. There's probably food over there. Like, just eat food. <laughs> Not that complicated. <laughs> Looking for something. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't mind me. I'm just mentioned about. <sighs> All right, then with these pipes. have five plants. All right, 
Those are planted now. Um, does it do anything specific down here? Um, not specific, but... Let us get some more um, money. And then maybe I'll be able to buy the soup stuff and test see how much soup is worth. Back down into the, the fun hole. The funnest hole of all. I mean, I can think, think of uh, numerous holes that might be more fun than this, but that's a topic for a different time. <laughs> Get out of my way, shovel. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be that way, dirt pile. Where, there you are, trying to, trying to hide. It can be a little tricky sometimes knowing where to pour your uh, bucket. Like when it's dark, it's harder to see the little uh, circle that shows where you're gonna like pour stuff. At least it's harder for me. Maybe that's just my brain not doing things very well. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised. Admittedly, that, that shard in there makes it a little easier to see where I'm supposed to be pouring things to, because... Yeah. It lights up. Because it's full of power. I mean, I guess the other other alternative would be um, <laughs> the shovel's like, "You shall not pass." Like, ah, fuck you, shovel. You've been the bane of my existence all along. All right, let's pour this stuff out. So I think we have like at least one or two gemstones, and we can. Uh, Save those for cutting instead, which I think probably boosts their value. Uh, our money is over here. We'll buy, a, we'll buy a whetstone. I feel like that's worth the price. If it makes our gems a little more more expensive, let's see, two twenty three, eighty four. That's a little more. Expensive. I remember, but. I'm kinda curious to see how much these are worth on their own, and then I'll come back down here, cut them, and see how much they're worth instead, because I just don't know how the value jumps up or if it was even worth spending money on that whetstone. 
At some point you would get a whetstone so you could like polish gems to make the jewelry. Let's see, that's 20, that is 13. I would imagine the prices would be reversed because rubies are worth more, but I think that saf that emerald's probably just heavier. Twenty and thirteen. So let's cut them and see if that changes. I would assume it would since you processed it, but I also wouldn't really be surprised if it doesn't change the value of these. It does increase the value. Okay, nice. I mean, 20 and 13 from, so from uh, 36 up to 56. I mean, that's not nothing, especially for how small these are. So yeah, that, I don't. There's, there's, there are people in this game now with the farming update they, they made. There are very uncanny people in this game that want soup. <laughs> and they kind of just bark things at you. are like, leave me alone! No, I'm just trying to grow tomatoes. Some, what the fuck was that? Anyway. I decided to start a new file to kind of test out the progression if you do farming as well as just normal digging stuff. Just out of curiosity, because I've played this game to death, like, a, lo a lot of this game. But yeah, the farming thing, you can now grow plants. This is kind of the way, a good way to water them before you can afford the sprinklers, because that takes a bit to get to. I just have all this other crap I'm going to sell. Uh, I could buy all this stuff, but I don't know if I really want to yet. I'm just trying to see how far along I can kind of get with uh, just, I mean, it's probably at least worth my time to melt the stuff down. Fine. I was trying to see, I was wondering, no, we're, we're actually going to go buy the stuff to make the soup with after we sell this metal. Cause I want to see how much that, how much money that makes you. In the meantime, our tomatoes will just continue to grow. I think those are just shards now. Yeah, they are. That's fine. They can just kind of hang out there. I think I have a few more like over there or something too. So I know better not to drive this truck up this fucking road because it's really easy to kind of just get stuck up here. And this, this NPC tends to actually say slightly useful stuff. Most of them just say, like, I could do with some scran. Yo, you got some scran? <laughs> I'm just like, God. Or they say that. <laughs> I'm just mooching about. It's like I'm... Uh. Hmm. Has that always been there? Hmm, I don't know. I'm just noticing that now, like, there seems like a weird seam. Shut up! <laughs> I could do with some scran. <laughs> it's like, please, no, I don't have any scran. I don't know what scran is. Can, can you do the money thing? 
Make more. There you go. Good job. Proud of you. Oh, the tomatoes. They've grown. We will get back to those shortly because I need to go to the uh, farming uh, town to buy some stuff to make soup with. And driving feels a lot more stiff now in this update than it did previously. <laughs> Just take a shortcut. If, if someone's in the streets, I feel bad for them because I'm just going to run them over. Sorry, not sorry. I got shit to do. <laughs> just going to get ran down in the streets of Hydroneer. No one is safe. I mean, the turns can be a lot sharper because of how, like, how the driving has changed. But yeah, this is the farming little town where you buy farming stuff. And I need... We'll put this. Let's see, I have you, you. I have. To, I bought tomatoes. Uh, we'll buy carrot seeds as well if it comes to it. Like if I have extra money left over, but I need to buy a cooking pot, a stove, and at least one bowl. In case it, it consumes our bowl when we sell soup, I'm going to buy two bowls. So that we can, at the very least, still, um... Uh, how much is that? 146? Can we afford that, too? We can. I won't be able to buy the carrot seed, but I don't know if I care. It. <laughs> uh, okay. And just put these in the truck. By hand. I, quite, I like this game. It's a fun, it's a fun enough game. It's one of those small dev team kind of indie games that I, I enjoy. There's just something satisfying about just digging dirt sometimes. Which is partially why I haven't done the, um, oh I need the cleaver too. I got the goods if you got the cash. No, I can't buy the cleaver so I can't even make soup. Oh, you piece of shit. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have bought that other bowl. The other bowl is why I can't buy the cleaver, which lets you cut the tomatoes to make the soup. Uh, whatever. Shouldn't let us take this. Yeah, we're not in creative mode anymore. I only bought, I only went into creative mode so I could get the uh, hourglass to not have time happen. Because the day-night cycle does not do anything actually tangibly useful for the game. So I just basically turn it off. Oh, I guess we're going to come back when we can buy the goddamn choppy chop. I wish there was another shop that sold this stuff other than this one, like, across the map. But it's fine. We'll, I'll just deal with it. I made a mistake. And bought a bowl that I didn't need to buy. Alright, then we should be able to just ramp back up here. I just hit the angle like that and just ramp up and over. Makes it a lot faster to get in between that town and other places that you usually want to go to. Yeah. Well, what we're gonna do instead in that case, since we don't have the soup stuff, we're gonna just pick all the tomatoes. Now these now these tomatoes are magnetic, so if you have the means to do so, like the little magnet on the stick or like the magnet uh, logic items, you can just automatically pull tomatoes off the vine. You can also use the little cleaver to cut tomatoes on the vine, which is kind of silly, but it is a thing you can do. There's no real reason to, but that doesn't mean you can't. Uh, is that all? 
Hmm. Well, those tomatoes are uh, now no longer necessary. Okay, and then we can take some more tomatoes and run them through the seed mill here. And get, and get five more seeds. Uh, that one got us two. That one got us two. And that one got us two. Oh wow, we got lucky and got uh, two seeds from each of those. Usually only get one. Alright, well that gives us another seed for next time, I guess. And let's hop down into our miserable little hole. Oh, I need a... Damn it. <laughs> I, I need to get a pan to actually do things with. Deck, deck, back down there. Okay. you brush it's like I know you're hiding around here somewhere uh, work did I put the brush somewhere else this time it's very good at hiding in that little crevasse Slurp, 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 slurp. <laughs> God damn it. Huh? All right, good enough. That's probably enough to get us the money to buy the little cleaver and then we can start making soup. Now it'd be smart if I started using this, like these metals to actually make things, but I want to see how much we can make with just like uh, soup. Because <laughs> processing things tends to make them worth more money in this game. Like just cutting the gems, just cutting the gems even makes them worth more. Like, there's a markup for processed things. And now we definitely have enough to buy that little cleaver. So we'll go back, buy that. And they may, that may be the last time we have to go over there for a bit. Okay. Okay, anti gravity money, get out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just throw it down there. I love that about this game. You just kind of just toss shit and it'll just kind of go. Ooh, nice. Kind of got a bit of air time. They did have they did they did add a four by four, like a little quad, like you see right there. They did add one of those to the game with this update. And it's pretty cool, but it can't carry much stuff, so I tend to still just use the truck for most things. Especially in this early game part where you don't exactly have anything else anyway. Excuse me. You won't find better prices than these. 
Ja. Ugh, sneezy today, huh? I love that. I love that for me. Take a look at my goods. Is that a threat? <laughs> Are you soliciting? <laughs> I respect the grind, but I'm just a simple farmer. <laughs> Unless scran means something very different than what I think it means. <laughs> The driving's di definitely different than what it was in the previous update. Like, it just feels different. I'm still getting used to it. It's a lot less uh, fast and loose. Which fair play to them for kind of tightening up the driving controls. Since you do a fair bit of driving if you're just kind of transporting stuff around to sell or whatever. Yep, let's get out of the hole. Okay, so we got those growing. I think one of these tomatoes is like eight dollars uh, or whatever. So I'm kind of tempted to like take this stuff up there to the shop with me and see if the values change because I just don't know how the how values are handled in this game with these get get in the fucking cart you delinquent tomato. Princess Tomato, you aren't. <laughs> Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom is a very uh, interesting kind of point-and-click game. I played the NES port of it, and it was interesting that what they did with it. Alright, so... You don't buy that, you buy this. Alright, so this one's worth 10. One of the other tomatoes I tried selling was 8. So let's just um, get 10. Let's see if cutting it changes the value. It does. So, just cutting tomatoes makes them worth more. But, like, I guess that was like a 40% increase. It was 10, now it's 14. Like, that's definitely not nothing. So, so, so that's 14. Let's see what a bowl of soup made of that costs. And that'll kind of inform me on if this is even worth my time. Ultimately, it's probably not because you can make way more money with, um, you know, not doing this. Like, all this money I've spent on all this farming crap, I could have bought the other machines by now and had them going. But, like, I'm trying to, I'm experimenting. Alright, so. <clears throat> So you get your, your pot on here, you let it bubble and boil. And 
then we take our 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 diced tomatoes or sliced rather I, I don't know it's probably not really much of a difference between the two I think a sliced is probably like in like long slices and dice is like little squares. So I guess there is a difference and I'm just being ignorant. Oh, that works. <laughs> See, how much is this one tomato weigh now it's cut? 1.9? Okay. So this soup should be the same weight I would imagine okay and then we pour it into the uh, into the that we'll get some we'll get another thing ready So if the scale is to be believed, the soup that was made, was made from one tomato went from being worth 10 to now being worth uh, 17 after making a soup out of it. Okay. The real question is going to be, do I get the bowl back after I sell the soup? Logic would dictate no, you sell the bowl of course too, but bowls are expensive, so if they... Uh, if they if you don't get the bowl back oh you oh shut up I don't care about your scrant can I hold money in in the bowl no <laughs> all right well good talk So you don't have you only have to buy one, technically one bowl ever, because the, the NPCs will give you the bowl back as well. It's a little unsanitary, but you know who cares? It's a silly farming game. Well, this one only gave me one tomato. That's kind of not cool. Okay, we're gonna pick tomatoes and toss them in here until we have five seeds again. Just four. Well, I guess I, I should say at least at least five seeds. Cause yeah, that, I have six seeds now. Cause those red dots indicate how many seeds are in the packet, and each pack can hold up to ten. Plant our tomatoes. I'm kind of curious to see just how like big of a soup bowl we can make with what we have, because we've got we've got a fair few tomatoes. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just try to get five seeds again real quick before I forget and then fuck up and don't get the seeds and then we're screwed. Uh, that's five. Okay, cool. So now the rest of these tomatoes we can uh, make into like a big gooey pile of tomato. I'm not sure the mechanics on how the actual, like, what size you get of these tomatoes. Like, I don't know if there's a way to, like, maximize the, uh, tomato gain. Is my, did I leave my cleaver <laughs> at the, uh, no, it's in here. I was like, did I leave my cleaver up there? Anyway, we're gonna make, like, a big, a 
Just like a big ass thing of soup. Oh, a sneaky tomato. make the biggest, dirtiest pile of tomatoes possible. <laughs> How big is this pile of tomatoes? A pile of tomatoes is 155. And they're making it into a soup like this. It's 22 pounds of tomatoes. Making it into a soup. Well, 155 and then making it into a soup is gonna make the value go, should go up significantly. I do have another bowl. So it was one, it was 155. Let's get some water in here and then we'll pour it in. Okay, it gets extinguished anyway, so it's fine. It's whatever. I was thinking maybe if you put water in it um, manually instead of throwing it in the river, it wouldn't like take time. But it's not like we're going to be making soup again that soon anyway. We're out of tomatoes. All right, so now this bowl soup is 186. Um... On the, honestly, even like the small scale we have it going, this isn't like the worst way to make money, I guess. That's the thing, though, is that we could use our tomatoes to do quests to get stuff to buy better seeds, because I think better seeds probably have better, higher value crops, I would assume, so that would make the money gain, I would have guessed, better. What does that even mean? Your boys in armor, like, knights? What does that mean? In that case, do I want to just like dump the do, do, I, do I just want to dump this soup into the river instead? <laughs> Pecky. What were you doing on the counter, mister? I didn't even see or hear him get on the counter, and I just hear him like jump off the counter and like all the air like leave his little lungs when he jumps like that because he's a little goofball it may be in my best interest to get more tomatoes uh, going it would not be hard to do Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get a, let's see, one, two, three, four, and like another, uh, another five of these, uh, pipes. We'll let us grow, more, like, double the amount of tomatoes. Ha, ba, ba. Kitty time. Kitty holding break. Mwah. Mwah. All right, kitty. <laughs> kitty holding break has been has been um it's it's over. <laughs> 
All right, let's combine our money together and Now I will say the advantage of having more than one bowl is that if you're trying to do uh, quests, you can kind of queue up different orders for people, so to speak. Uh, what am I doing? I think we already have a... Uh, Oh yeah, this is still the same map. Don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. We'll mooch about somewhere else. <laughs> Whee. Uh money, money, money. Two oh three, okay, let's move our soup bowls back over yonder. <laughs> In the soup zone. And we're gonna need um, five T pipes Thanks for your business. and like one straight pipe. Hey, no blood. Should have enough money for this at least. Just gonna stay in there for now. Because I'm putting these pipes in place should let us um, expand to 10 tomato plants instead. Still dripping where it needs to. And then I was gonna have these kind of go off this way a little more to be away from this fucking hole. <laughs> okay, I need these to grow so I can. Um, Plan better where their stuff is gonna go. Come on, game. It's fine. I promise. Okay, do this. This is about as good as you can really do with um, irrigation early on because. Yeah. All right. Good talk. <laughs> these down they should uh I'm, ima I'm, I'm imagining if you cut the cut these down while tomatoes are still on them the tomatoes will be deleted oh <laughs> I fell in the hole Okay, and then this is why I need this straight pipe here. 
That gets us away from this hole, at least. Let's move you out of the way. Let's get our little trowel. got those in place. How many seeds do we have? We have five, so we need to get ten now. And that is six, so we need... Oh. At minimum, two more tomatoes. Get us there. I got us nine, I believe, so let's do one more. That's guaranteed going to get us at least ten. Three, four, five. Yep, that's ten. So we can replant now. Yay! Progress! Sounds a little obnoxious, but this is unfortunately kind of the best way to do things. If, now if, I had some, if I had the money, I could do another line right here. They go there and like there. We'll see. Let's chop these up and see what that gets us, weight-wise. Uh, 52. That's 7.5. Are there any quest givers nearby? I know there was one, like, kind of wandering around all sad Kept repeating like, I'd like some scran. It's like, don't mind me. I'm just. Yay. Um. Hmm. Now that I want to find the quest givers, they're just nowhere to be found. I think that that's just like general game logic. If you're trying to find something, you're just never going to find it. That's right, Pookie. You're just never going to find it. I reckon Bridge Bowl one million before Fondrick got here. What does that even mean? Come on, Aganda. No. Sure you will. <laughs> just don't just don't turn to face me when you talk. Must be just how they talk to people. They just don't turn. Yeah, that's a mod. Really good mod, but a mod nonetheless. The deeper you dig, the better the resources. I reckon bridge for one million before. I'm sure whatever that means, that's true. <laughs> right, I would need uh, five more of those. Current value is 52. That's probably not enough, and I don't think I don't know if we have enough money left over anyway. There's a little bit of money in here. I don't know if that's all of our money or if that's just some of our money. I, I'm kind of not really keeping good track of that. Is there some in there too? There's a little bit in there. 
I mean, after we, um... Make the soup and sell it. That probably would be enough for another five pipes to get even more tomatoes. So, yeah, we'll, uh... Where'd that diced pile of tomatoes go? Oh, yeah, that's right. I left it in the street. <laughs> What's up, Baba? Fluffy-eared fuck. I love this little man. Even if he does very illogical things. And that will sell for, uh, 62. Can y'all stop roughhousing in my bathroom? Ugh, cats. Can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 get our cart like right side up. And we'll go get some more pipes to get more tomatoes growing cuz That seems to be our current trajectory in life is tomatoes. Screw this whole digging thing. Who needs that? Just tomatoes. And soup. The cool thing, though, is that you can get, like, beetroots that are, like, much more expensive, I think, for money. I don't know if they want, ever want beetroot soup, because so far... So far, the only soups I've seen them want are, um... Tomato. So now we're going to go buy five more pipes. And after I think one of my things I should probably save it for will be the magnet on the stick. <laughs> to make actually getting the tomatoes easier than um, picking them manually. Ching, two hundred one dollars. You won't find bad prices in these. <laughs> Thanks for your business. So we'll get these pipes put in place first, and then we'll actually hook them all up. Because I'm gonna have to do some uh, a little bit of finagling to get them kind of going where I want them to go. Like that's gonna have to move there, and then that one's gonna have to. Well, other T is gonna have to move like there, and that will let us get another. Uh, row of crops. There we go. So now when these are all done, we can make 15 seeds out of the, like, tomatoes. 
Why are you standing at attention? <laughs> at ease, soldier. There you go. <laughs> Left this in the river. Why'd I do that? Well, I am gonna need, um, I'll make some soup, some, make some cash, so. I mean, there's no way in hell these aren't being watered, I would assume. At this point, I'm contemplating just, like, covering up this entire hole, because, I mean, I don't need to make money with this anymore, right? Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of, just kind of goofing off a little. Oh, they're just, po they're popping into existence! Same these are only giving me like one tomato. Which is fine I guess, but like it's not ideal if we're only getting one. I am curious. We will we'll, we'll find one that has only one on it and we'll cut it and see if like Oh Well that makes things easier. <laughs> we just cut we just kill the plant and the tomatoes just fall right off. Alright. That's that's interesting. That makes things a lot easier, because we're we're absolutely gonna just kill the plants anyway. So, yeah, that saves some time. <laughs> I was expecting it to delete the tomatoes too, but nope. They are uh, they are their own separate. When they are bo born into this world, they are separate from the plant. Oh, well, I'm glad I experimented with that, because now I know that you just can just cut the plants down and they all drop to the ground and then you can scoop up all your tomatoes with like the little uh, rod thingy that we're gonna be buying after we make some uh, seeds now we need 15 seeds So we have 11 seeds. Is that our 15 seeds? Uh, five. I'd like turn my head like a fucking dog to see the to count properly because I'm autistic. <laughs> um, well, the rest of these tomatoes are just uh, for. Making scran, I guess. Alright, cool. Those will grow up nice and strong, and we'll cut them down, make some more seeds, and in the meantime, these are gonna. Can I cut them in here? Technically, yes. But there might be a tomato hiding somewhere that I can't see. Or maybe not. Alright. Soup's on! Don't even know how much it's gonna be worth. 
Doesn't really matter. Uh, how much is this going to be worth? 83? Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't know where I left all of the rest of my money. Was it in here? I think it was. 61. I don't think that's enough for the uh, magnet on a stick. So we might have to uh, do some mining <laughs> to get the rest of the money. <laughs> Acting like that's like a sin. It's like, oh, we have to mine? It's almost as if that's like the main... Like, gameplay loop of this game is mining. I thought this was a farming sim. Admittedly, this is a much faster way of probably getting the money that we need than the, the, the food, the, the farming. But that definitely has potential to get faster, because we can uh, get plants that aren't the cheapest one, which is tomatoes. Oh, shit. I picked up the wrong thing. Damn it. move all this other crap out of the way now because I picked up the wrong thing and now I've got this big ass block just existing in the middle of the world. Alright. I was trying to pick that up so I could do that but now I, now I screwed the pooch. Figuratively. No actual, no actual pooches were screwed in any variety. Come here, shovel. I'm not, I'm not done with you yet. It might be worth my time to um, get the hammer to lock those blocks down so I don't do that again. Well, we've got our... Hopefully that'll be enough once I sell that stuff to... Um... Hopefully that'll be enough to go get the magnet on a stick. We'll just make life easier. I hope I a shiny new truck. I'm sure you will. With all that standing around. That you're doing. <laughs> Did you know these items are appraised by multiplying the base price by its weight? That's cool. Give me some money. Not bad for a very small amount of time's work. Okay, that's 190, and then this should be another like 60 or so, I think. Oh, 83. Okay, it's a little more than I uh, expected. That might be enough. I can't remember how much the the magnet on a stick costs, but. It'll be, an, it'll be a nice quality of life to have. This guy up here does want uh, 11 cut to 11 weight soup delivered to him for exchange for some tokens, which you start you do want to start doing those once you kind of get your your desired infrastructure up and going. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll hold on to this for now. Grab our money. And we need to go buy a magnet on a stick from Bridgeport. Because unfortunately, that's, that's, the only real, that's the only place you can really get it that's close enough to be worth going to. The, the little town, like, off to the right here doesn't sell it. The other town's not really good for anything other than upgrading your fishing rod. It's a little fishing village, and that's where you upgrade your rod. I don't know if upgrading your rod even does anything. Oh, come on, don't get stuck on the freaking well. Thanks for your business. Okay, let's see. Magnet on a stick. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough. All right, well, that's fucking annoying. We've, we're missing, we're short on, like, 200 gold. <laughs> Not quite 200 gold, like, 150, maybe. Fantastic. I, I love, I love that. Oh, wait, this dude... Or person, rather. Fetch me some scrap. Oh, you, you, that's a very light order. I'd rather spend that, that money we have on more infrastructure, like another like five uh, drippy pipes or whatever. I'm drunk driving, look out. That's the guy that wants like 11, I think. Considering the fact that we can just cut the plants and the uh, the tomatoes just fall off anyway. Like, it's not really that much of a loss to not have the magnet on a stick yet. Because, yeah, it's not as impactful when we can just scoop up all the tomatoes, chop them up. Well, we can make the amount of seeds that we need, and then we can just kind of, like, chop them up anyway, you know. Yeah, let's. We're gonna buy. Uh, five more of these. And do another line here. We should be able to do another line there at least. That'll be what we use our money for. Just five more pipes. I figure twenty plants would be enough to kind of get some some decent uh, a decent amount of tomatoes going for getting the tomatoes we need for um, reseed and also for just making soup to, to give to people for the trading part. Okay, there should be five. Mostly five there. OBS has been screaming at me this entire stream saying like, including overloaded. It's like, how? I literally played Tales of Arise yesterday with not a fucking peep. And now it's suddenly a problem. Fucking weird ass OBS. Maybe the game maybe this game's not super optimized and it's causing troubles. I don't know, but I got like 16 more minutes and I gotta get ready to go to work. Since my roommate is not here this week. I'm just eating lunch at work because I, I work at a hospital, so there's a cafeteria. It's surprisingly good. Like a surprisingly good cafeteria.
Oh, this first row is probably going to be almost more than enough seeds. That's a, that's a lot of tomatoes already. We're gonna get 13 tomatoes and turn those just directly into seeds and see how many it gives us. Did this give me like 21 seeds? Well, I mean, that is one more than I needed for the replant, so that works. So 15 tomatoes is probably a good name for. No, that will bare minimum give us 15 seeds, and then we can kind of go from there with w the rest of what we want to do. Anyway, we can we can chop the rest of these up, and then combine them together on the ground. You know, you, you don't need to. You can just do it on the floor. Hey, that's okay. Welcome. Um, I don't really do much with the uh, Epic Game Store personally. I don't know if I even have an account for it, but honestly. More to show though, huh? I don't know what that game is. What's that about? I'm just combining tomatoes together on the ground, as you do. Oh, okay, cool. I'm just making a big pile of sliced tomatoes on the ground. It's like one of them shitty merger games you see all over the, the phone. We're just merging tomatoes together. I think that's all the tomatoes that were not turned to seeds. Let's see how much. 36 pounds of tomatoes. Not half bad. We can separate out like four of that. We can go turn in a quest up there. No, I think. I think I played this one um, game where like it's like a tower defense, but you can like merge dudes together or something like that. And I'm just like, yeah, that's, like it was fun for a while, but then it kind of like kind of got too grindy. I was like, eh, no. At least it was free and it didn't pay a damn cent to him for it, so. Could be worse. Alright. Uh, let's... Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of pipes. We're gonna make another, uh... I think you're right here. This is the best way to irrigate stuff early because we don't have uh, sprinklers yet. Yeah, the merger games kind of lose their 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 luster af pretty quickly because there's not really much of substance there other than, hey, this th this one action you do is kind of satisfying, but after a while you kind of get enough of it and then you don't want to play anymore. Right, let's see if it'll let us, uh... Do a little diggy things here. <laughs> also, hi! Hi, Neki! <laughs> I'm trying to kind of push the limits of what the little farming stuff can do from this game. Um, the new update for this. 
because I was kind of interested to see how the progression would go if you focused mostly on the farming and you still have to start out doing stuff with the digging. I mean, technically, if you get like your first 50 bucks, you could then go do fishing if you really want to. Let's see what orders we had, because one person wanted a, uh, this one person wanted, uh, four, four cut tomato value, so let's see, we currently have 36 here, so let's see, how much is this split off bit here, 4.5, good enough. Make me some soup! That's how soup is made. Just like that. <laughs> and I think this other one wanted like 11. Soup! Yeah, okay, that one wants 4. And that guy wants 11, so let's, uh. How much. Is, how heavy are. 18. Nine, four, two, so this should be close to 11 now. See, I can count. I just sometimes just choose not to. Is that... Come on. You want, you want, you want to become soup so badly. There you go. Oh, <laughs> it's just not, I gotta actually pour it. Alright, so this is the four bowl soup. There was someone around here that wanted. Is, were you the one that wanted eleven? You want six? Oh, you have a different quest. Are you a different person, or did you just get bored and become a different person? I don't. I don't know. But well, I, I can't. Ex I can accept his quest, but I don't have the exact soup he wants. I sure I'm, hungry. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. I sure am hungry. Poor blimey, I am hungry. <laughs> Alright. This is the one that's 11. Um. So those exclamation points are are um, are places where people want to do a job when you do jobs for them, which means the one up there might be the one that wanted eleven. Because I remember getting it from someone nearby. So let's get our little slow ass cart. Now I play a grow fungi mobile game. You got to pick machine parts and input chance of certain fungi. Ah. You can upgrade the parts, and you have to fill specific orders. Many, many fungi. Hey, that sounds fun, at least. Like, they're like, oh, want to grow fungi faster? Pay us $4.99, and you'll get times two growth forever. It's like, uh... <laughs> you bastards. The only thing I play on mobile anymore, if I play at all, is uh, Old School RuneScape, because I play that not on mobile on Sundays. Oh, that's cool. Mo most uh, games like that these days. Um, eat your scran, fool. What, what does that even fucking mean? Whatever, I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to just take your money and leave. <laughs> That's a real groovy brandy. Yeah, mo there's a very few phone games that aren't just like packed full of monetization anymore. 
which is sad because like in the in like the early 2010s there's lots of really high quality phone games that were just made by people that wanted to make games that you could pay you could pay for the game which is fine because you know you're paying for a game but now it's all these this freemium garbage that sucks shit all right one of, I think one of these was six yeah it's six we could probably make that happen pretty easily now let's see how heavy is this pile of tomatoes 2.2 I got like five more minutes to play with tomatoes. Uh, if it's a little over, I'm fine with it. I mean, we're growing more tomatoes as it is, so once those are. Okay, soup for you. Yeah, it always does. They're like, oh, look at this cute game, and it's like, now pay us five ninety nine, and we're gonna kill your cats. It's like, no, not like this. There you are. Fetch me some scran. Take your scran, fool. Just throw the. Throw, just throwing the goddamn ball at me, like, get this shit out of here. And that gets us these uh, farm guild tokens that we can use to buy better seeds and like stuff like watering cans and the watering cans actually really useful for uh, you fill it up once and it has four charges and you can like fill up your cooking pot with it or you can fill these with it it's pretty cool okay and then we have this one for four and she's in bridge pour That's a nine weight, so we could technically do that. What's this one? Four, that one's already 4.5. It's a real reedy broth, that is. <laughs> hey. well, I already got one that's 4.5. Shit. Um, can I add more to you? Um, can I just add more tomato to this? Maybe if it lands in the pot. Probably has to heat up some more now. Hmm. Oh, it looks like it did add together. Sweet. Alright, so... I, I just left the bowl in the grass over here. I was like, you know what? He threw it. Yeah, <laughs> this is the soup simulator, to, the soup kitchen. I mean, you, it's still got all the digging stuff that you we were doing before, but I made a new file and we're just trying to do as much of the farming as possible. Because you can make that soup and you can just sell the soup too for the money too, so you can like buy more pipes to make more of these plants grow. As obnoxious as it is with the drippy bits here, that's like the best way we have of irrigating a lot of these crops without us having to do it ourselves. We also need to water for the seed mill here that turns the tomatoes into more seeds. Because the plants grow once, one set of crops and they're, then they're done. It's kind of, kind of crap honestly, but what can you really do? Well, we got like two minutes left. We're gonna run to the run to bridge pour, grab any quests that are there, and then like come back and we'll end the stream because I gotta get ready for work and then get going and all that stuff. Thankfully, the temper temperatures should be back up to like 40s today, so I shouldn't have to worry about ice or anything like that anymore. Cause yeah, it's not been fun lately driving <laughs> when it was like still in the 20s and. On thir last Thursday, I got down to like negative eight, and it felt like negative to like twenty eight <laughs> outside because the wind. Not not never not a lot of fun. All right, where where in the hell where are you? Is there you are? Yeah, this map is like required for doing this stuff because otherwise these people could just roam around wherever they sure, fucking. Really fucking want to, and it's Perhaps terrible. I'm, well I'm sure you are well chuffed. 
As opposed to not chuffed, I guess. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Okay, so someone down that way has another quest for us. We'll go grab that. That's not how your mouth moves when you whistle. <laughs> Some dude just staring vacantly at the safe there. <laughs> this sign actually exists. <laughs> There's this one YouTube uh, channel I watch called Let's Game It Out that has has done some very broken things to this poor game. And so they put a sign in the game <laughs> for just for them. <laughs> you won't find better prices than that. I got the goods if you got the cash. Wait, is this person like behind the store? Are you there? That they are. I sure am hungry. I'm sure you are. They really love tomatoes around here. Don't mind me. I'm just a... <laughs> Fetch me some scram. I don't got time for your fucking strand today, Betty. All right, let's get ba we'll get back to Ember Cradle, refill the truck so I don't forget. Otherwise, this truck's gonna run out of water, and I'll just be like stuck somewhere with like no money to defill it up, and I'd like walk back to wa the walk of shame back to buy a buck to get a bucket to fill my truck up with water. <laughs> All right, well, that's a six cup. We'll, we'll deal with that. Thirty two of these. And we got one sixty six. It's not much in the grand scheme of things, but it's getting there. We also have another crop of tomatoes ready for more soup. <laughs> we're gonna have a super time. Uh, I was saying we're gonna do something. Well, we're gonna end very soon. Oh, fill the truck up. Yes, that's what it was. See, my my memory is not always very good. Yeah, let's get a few more uh, panfuls of water. All right, good enough. Okay, well with that, let's say we didn't have done too bad so far. We got to, we're up to twenty tomato plants. We got a little soup cooking industry. And if we really want to, we could do uh, more digging, but I'm going to try to avoid that. Because <laughs> I've done plenty of that in this game. It's just a lot of the digging stuff. I haven't really done any of the fishing. So maybe that's something we do while we have plants growing, other than like making soup and running around creation. But Alright, so we're going to save, quit to desktop. And that is going to be my stream for today. Thank you all so much for coming by and hanging out. Thank you for the follow earlier. Let me see. Let me double check. I got your name right. Let's see. Dr. Anonymous 11. Thank you for the follow. Hey, thank you for being here, Nikki. It's always a pleasure. Uh, let's see if I can drop a raid on someone real fast. Drop the raid. Drop the raid. Drop the raid. Let's see. Who we got? Looks like Lykios is playing Skyrim, which we're likely going to be raiding into the, to him. Digi's also playing Pathologic, so that's kind of a tough choice. Uh, let's drop in on, on Lykios. I don't often get to raid him 
because unless it's like Saturday, so and I won't be streaming this Saturday because I think I'm on call, so you might you won't be seeing me there. Unfortunately, because I don't want to deal with uh, being on like midstream having to stop because some dingus needs their password reset or something. <laughs> But, yeah, so I'm going to end my stream. I'm going to raid into Lykios. Say hi when you get there, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.